Arkad's AI claims to replace human creators and make realistic AI UGC videos in minutes. As a creative strategist that does this for a living and makes hundreds of videos every single month, this is direct competition. But is this a tool that we can actually use or is it just another software with AI slapped on the front of it? So I decided to put Arcads to the test. And this is what I created. And honestly, I'm angry at myself for not getting this done sooner. I've got sensitive skin, so I'm just using two blades and it's perfect. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the exact steps that I took to recreate this ad using Arcad's AI. We're going to be testing a load of their features all the way from the creators that they already have on the app to full AI UGC creation using their text to creator prompts. We're also gonna be checking out their scenes feature where using VO3, you can create an entirely AI scene. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Arcads. I am a user of the product well before the team reached out to make this video. So I'm gonna be giving you my truthful opinions and best practice tips on how to use this tool to make ad creative. So this is the video that we're gonna be recreating with Arcads. To create this, we worked with a creator, our team edited it, scripted it. This is completely custom. But how far can we get just by using AI? So let's have a watch of the video first. Feels super solid. Basically, buy once and shave for life. You can load one, two, or three blades depending on your skin. I've got sensitive skin, so I just use two blades and it's perfect. The shave is so smooth. My legs feel like silk and I get no razor burn or bumps anymore. And since the blades are recyclable, I am not adding to the plastic waste pile every month. If you're on the fence, just get it. It will totally rock your world. I am never going back to disposables and you won't either. Now that we've seen what we're dealing with, let's get into our cards. So I think what's really important here is that we aren't going to be messing with much. So I have the script here, which doesn't have the hook on it because we're going to do that separately in a second, but it has the main body of the script that I have put into Arcads. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select an actor. So you have all of these that you can use. A lot of these are actual people, which you can then make them say whatever you want, which admittedly is a little bit weird. However, some of them are also full AI creators. You can order them by a ton of different emotions, uh, what accessories they have, but also like the situation that they're in as well. They have some cool street interview versions. But for me, I'm actually going to be using the My Actors feature where you can create an actor. So a couple of days ago, I went through the process and I generated using their prompt feature, a creator. The reason I did this a couple of days ago is because it actually takes quite a while to like generate your actor so that they are ready to say whatever you want. I essentially just describe the type of person that I want. I went through a couple of variations to get exactly what I want. That can take a little while and then you just select your actor and then you get it training. You come back in a little while and then it's ready to go. However, they also have a, another feature here where you can upload your own picture and translate that into a talking actor. So if you want to use another service, maybe like ChatGPT or something in order to generate your image and then put it inside here, you can do. So I did that and I created this actor here. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your ads. Create a script you think will work well, choose some actors and let the magic happen. Together, let's... I mean, that's pretty damn impressive. When I first started using Arcads a couple of years ago, I was a little bit disappointed, I'm going to be honest, because they didn't really have that many actors. And also, all of them were like using real people and the lip sync wasn't fantastic. However, now with the ability to like make your own creators, some of these videos are absolutely unreal. In fact, in my Poppy AI UGC, I used this creator here and I had a couple of people asking me, what AI UGC service do you use? Because I think the ability to create completely new actors is something that isn't in many other tools. So for this one, I'm going to select the actor, which I made, which is this one here. And then I'm going to paste in my script. I've already done that. And then I'm going to start adapting the speech so it sounds the way I want it to before moving on to generate the video. So Arcads uses a credit system, which means the more heavy heavy the load that you're doing, the more credits that you use. So in order to cut down on having to generate numerous videos all the time and get them wrong, you basically just build out the audio and then submit that. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I can preview the actual audio with all these settings that I have right now, and we can decide whether we like it or not. So I finally got myself the leaf razor. And since the blades are recyclable, I'm not adding 
to um to the part plastic so you can see there's a little bit odd it had some like weird freak out stuff this does use 11 labs for the voiceover obviously no ai is going to be right straight away but we can change bits of that and control it a little bit more using these one here the style exaggeration one enhances expressive elements like imitation emotion so that's quite high i'd say so i'm going to bring that down a little bit because i think that might have been responsible for some for some bits of it here okay so i've just been messing with it and i think i've got it to a place where i'm happy enough to now generate the actual video. So let's give it a listen. So I finally got myself the leaf razor. I've been trying to cut down on single use plastics and razors were one of the last things to go. And I'm angry at myself for not getting this sooner. First of all, it's beautiful and feels super solid. Basically buy once and shave for life. Uh, you can load one, two or three blades depending on your skin. I've got sensitive skin, so I'm just using two blades and it's perfect. The shave is so smooth. My legs feel like silk and I don't get any razor burn or bumps anymore. And since the blades are recyclable, I'm not adding to the plastic waste pile every month. If you're on the fence, just get it. It'll totally rock your world. I'm never going back to disposables and you won't either. Okay, sounds pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I think with some music and B-roll and stuff, it should cover up a couple of the nuances and definitely get us to a place where we're happy with it. And remember, if we put it in the video and we chop it up and we're just not happy with it, well, we can go back to Arcads and we can continue the process. We can also go in here and we can pick our own voiceover or you can connect your own 11 Labs account to it and then use voices from there, which aren't available in Arcads. So there's lots of options that we can do here to get this to a place where we're happy, but let's get generating some video and see how it looks. So I just click the send. You can see this is gonna take one credit. I say generate video. It's gonna check over the content, make sure it's happy, and then it is gonna to begin to generate. So I'm really interested to see where this works. I'm gonna open up the scene feature here and I am gonna try and create a short little video, nothing to do with this, just for the fun of it and let's see if it works so i'm thinking like a cheesy advert for like a lawyer like better call Saul style and we'll get them to say if you hire me you'll end up in jail okay so let's describe the scene actor and place let's have a look here so this is part of a longer prompt that i actually wrote for another project so let's put this in and see what happens okay so i'm just going to simply generate it now Boom, one credit, generate scene. And we've got a load of stuff generated now and I'm really excited to see what this all looks like. So remember the goal of this is to recreate that leaf video which we made, which is what we generated these for. But look, if I'm here, I might as well have a bit of fun as well. And remember there is a ton of other features in here. They also have gestures where you can make a character laugh. And I actually did that earlier. So I grabbed this and I just said, make the actor laugh. So if we press play, this is what you can get with the gestures feature. It's really creepy, but it could work really well as like a little bit of B-roll that you need, for example. I think the great thing about AI UGC in general is that you can use it as a quick way to iterate. If you have a winning script, instead of going out and spending a couple of thousand hiring a load of UGC creators to see who resonates with your audience the most, you can go into Arcad, you can try out a load of their AI creators or even generate your own and you can test them all and see what works okay so before we actually get started the first thing to generate shockingly was the full scene so let's give this a play and see what it's like if you hire me you'll never end up in jail These AI videos are so funny. That's so cool. That is, come on now. That is, that is pretty amazing. This is like perfectly created the video, which I absolutely love. The, I forgot this part was even in here. In the corner, a gavel slams down repeatedly in a loops cutaway, but it's just put that at the end. This is so cool. You'll never end up in jail. So as you can see, this is using VO3, which is the popular model that everyone's using. There's a million different ways in which you can use VO3. And one of them is directly through Google's Flow or Google Gemini. Another one is through Arcads. And it actually puts it in like a much more friendly, easy way to do. You can also extend it. You can remix it. You can download it. There is so much potential here to just mess about with whatever you want and create whatever you can possibly imagine. 
Okay, now our actual UGC is done. Let's give it a first play. Remember, this is just the on-screen talking part. We're going to overlay this with a load of B-roll and stuff later. I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second, but let's give this a watch. So I finally got myself the leaf razor. I've been trying to cut down on single-use plastics, and razors were one of the last things to go, and I'm angry at myself for not getting this sooner. First of all, it's beautiful and feels super solid. Basically, buy once and shave for life. Uh, you can load one, two, or three blades depending on your skin. I've got sensitive skin, so I'm just using two blades and it's perfect. The shave is so smooth. My legs feel like silk and I don't get any razor burn or bumps anymore. And since the blades are recyclable, I'm not adding to the plastic waste pile every month. If you're on the fence, just get it. It'll totally rock your world. I'm never going back to disposables and you won't either. I think it's so cool that this stuff is possible. And I think when you look at like the tiny little details, like the fact that like her t-shirt is like rocking a bit as she moves the camera is like absolutely insane. I think there is a couple of bits that I would like to improve if I had the time. I think the lip sync is a little bit off. That could get better with one of their like HD trained models. Remember, this is 100% AI generated. This was a creator which we made using a prompt. So it's never going to be quite as good as their like HD models. Remember, they have an absolute ton of them here. You can, you can filter them. There's there's some like really, really cool ones here. Uh, like I said, they've got some like street interviews as well, which you can put in. But I think the fact that this was generated 100% using AI is pretty incredible. So let's download it and let's put it in the video and let's see how they compare. So I'm simply just going to press download on here. It's going to download also the hook one is also done. So we're going to download that as well. And now we're going to pop them into an Adobe Premiere project. Okay, so this is the actual project in which we edited the original video. So as you can see, it's got the original creator down here already. So we are simply just going to import those UGC clips that we just did. And we're going to literally just replace the real creator with the AI creator. Okay, so I'm simply just going to drop these into here. And now I've got my clips. So we've got just the hook shot and then we've got the full shot. So let's add in the hook shot first. Strawberry legs go bye bye. Thanks to this. All right, so let's grab that. Let's delete it out of here. Strawberry legs go. All right, so this is remember, we're keeping all the same B roll. We're going to plop that in here. It's very similar length, which is very handy. Um, so we're just going to probably have to do just a little bit of trimming here to get it all kind of like lined up. Okay, cool. We can fix it all later as well. Um, okay, so this is our creator here. So you can see all these clips here are the creator. So we're probably going to have to do a little bit of editing first. So what I'm going to do is going to pop the whole thing in here and I'm going to cut up all the little bits and then I can just drag them in basically. We need to move all these up. Obviously we'll probably have to change subtitles and everything like that a little bit, but we will polish it up in a second. Let's just get the video in there. So I finally got myself the leaf razor. I've been trying to cut down on single use plastics and razors were one of the last things to go. And I'm angry at myself for not getting this sooner. Okay, already this is this is looking great. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to delete the rest and I'm just going to pop it in. Let's just overlay it. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got the creator in there. I'm going to give it a quick polish edit now and then we're going to watch it and we're going to see how it compares. Okay, so I have had to do a little bit more kind of heavy editing in terms of just getting it all synced up and looking nice. Now, one thing is that this video does have the actual creator, like feeling her legs and stuff. Obviously, we don't have that footage uh, and it wouldn't really match with, with this really because she doesn't really look like her. So I'm just going to replace that with some other B-roll which we have from the creator. So I've done it. I've edited it. I've put it all together. Let's see how this AI version compares to the real thing. Strawberry legs go bye bye thanks to this. So I finally got myself the leaf razor. I've been trying to cut down on single use plastics and razors were one of the last things to go. And I'm angry at myself for not getting this sooner. First of all, it's beautiful and feels super solid. Basically buy once and shave for life. Uh, you can load one, two or three blades depending on your skin. I've got sensitive skin, so I'm just using two blades and it's perfect. The shave is so smooth. My legs feel like silk and I don't get any razor burn or bumps anymore. And since the blades are recyclable, I'm not adding to the plastic 
plastic waste pile every month. If you're on the fence, just get it. It'll totally rock your world. I'm never going back to disposables and you won't either. Okay, so I'm pretty damn impressed. I'm not going to lie. I think that is really impressive that we got here from just a prompt that we made the UGC creator from and a couple of prompts to make some B-roll for it as well for the end. I'm super impressed. I think, like I mentioned, this is such a great way in which you can start to iterate on UGC scripts and start to build some data. And I think the main thing that we need to remember is that a lot of UGC videos are covered up by B-roll. So if you already have a lot of archive B-roll, you can put it over an AI video and suddenly it's 10 times more realistic. Realistically, I see no reason why we wouldn't run this. Obviously, it all depends on whether the brand is happy to actually run this. However, from my opinion, I think this is pretty solid. I think one thing that is missing compared to when you have a real UGC creator is obviously when we asked that UGC creator to make that, they filmed all the B-roll as well, specifically to what we wanted as well as the script. You don't get that with AI UGC, unfortunately. So you would have to rely on your archive material to overlay. But when it comes to speed, iteration, speed, low budget, AI UGC is 100%, I think, one of the most useful tools that's come out of this AI development in recent years. And I think, honestly, everyone needs to give this a try and see how it works for them. If you want to try Arcads yourself, there's a link down below to check them out and test the tool for yourself and your brand and see if it works. And if you happen to run a D2C brand and you're spending 80,000 or up on your ads, I would love to have a conversation with you. Scan the QR code on the screen or fill out the application down below and we can have a chat. But until then, hit subscribe for more videos like this one, like the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.